ডেট চলে গিয়েছিল বলে মুনিরা চৌধুরীর মৃতের মাতৃমঙ্গল এর ইংরেজি অনুবাদটা পুরো পড়া হয় আবার পড়ছি দেখি এবারে কি হয় আমি মৃতের মাতৃমঙ্গলের অনুবাদ করেছি দি ডেড মাদার ব্লেস এটা অনেকগুলো পর্ব আছে তো আমি এটা পড়ে যাচ্ছি লাগাতার পর্বগুলো আর বলছি না এই পর্ব এই পর্ব ওয়াটার হুজেস আউট অফ টু পিয়ার্স রাইস ইন আর্টস এনসিয়েন্ট গ্রেস হ্যালাস in this stream of joy i also realize the rains have come hard tortoises will dive into fresh water flowers of rain at patihar do not fear who started dear we were archetypal brother sister in archetypal rains and deep forest that is why i do not always remain human half male white crested kaku and half female me and my dead grandmother with her converted lover smear rains love song on each limb halas rains between the living and the dead eternal mother bliss i have known leaning on earth's window leaves of, of trees are trembling fruit of paradise is hanging behind leaves on the road descending into river faces of mild breeze float and drown somewhat like flow of water slipping out of drowning person's eye this way carefree one life does someone lighted the first lamp before his a twilight entered the room that light is shining on the mirror as if a firefly waiting for the great night this time for the real the lightning flashes the birds come out of cages the birds sleep the birds sleep inside the hole of lightning and wake up again gradually feathers are falling leaves are falling rain is falling some people and plast add plastic feathers on bodies of bird storm arrives again on earth and at the end of each storm i see in the morning those birds are waiting in my yard like the cloak wearing students of religious school i hid the liquid tea garden in the flask now i get the fragrance of opium i am drinking longevity skylight of colored glass panes at the head of the porch the shadow is gradually deleted porch hung on flower pots become permanent on gray walls boring a hole in the middle of the room a cup of light lies still on the floor you are seated on in cane chair a runaway from paradise on brown hair as if an old photographs full moon clear air approach and i want to be that person who can go beyond your acting and your voice you have made your own the right of brain violence you have made your own the right of green violence the way you desired within yourself scorched heart beside blood incondite moons flesh and you have enhanced the youth of bur burning scarlet hibiscus by many years 
Who are you, Eternity 2017? Today, the low pressure touching Bay of Bengal is powerful. On a spring day, I had heard the prince will come on a horse chariot. The prince has never arrived. Here, monster has come. Who was born out of my skull? Deems also have palms, eyes, lips. That surely blooming dawn two years earlier had countenance. Today, I opened up my secret ribs and saw that only face of dawn of my life which looked sad. I secretly looked, took out fall season from my grandmother's brass box, washed two eyes of dawn with heaven's dews, complete sleep of Mathura Vrindavan. In this full moon light, breath of forefathers are exploding in melting coffin. Giraffe's head is moving in the folds of paper, secret blood flow. Blank paper's face waiting with questions is dissolving in mists. I stand still. I accept fog bites. At one point, the sun rose. The smell of touchstone burst into the stomach of the pregnant mother. White blood keeps oozing from slaughtered words. The rest of them are in a hurry to be hanged so that I may kill the words by hanging. I bring failed memory of Meg Nanda River instead of paper pen. God's head hangs instead of words. There is no space in my journal. Night slit with blade and blood oozing from nerves all around. Some blood though is burning Pigs' screams are floating from cut meat. Harils of peeled out moon is peeking out. Journal contains head of deer, crow, and pencil. My lover's heart and patihar. Dear God's grave and incinerator side by side. Today a flock of dead birds came from Babylon for self-sacrifice one more. I am hiding inside my journal. Inside the astray of shadow of words, I am becoming ash, becoming ash. I stay away. I stay up all night with my cut off hand in other hand towards the eternal dawn. The hard hand glows in the depths, hands crematoria. I feel chilly when bone throat become heated dense, I feel sleepy. In this Munira slumber, there is no window. The doors here is not friendly. Shadowy wind is drowning in darkness. The face is not visible at all. Two vague shadows merging into shadows. Same, but so different. A body is moving on the ground with inactivity, innocence, apathy and extreme indifference. And the other is leaning a little, panting to get through the rubbish and bushes, occasionally trying to breathe intermittently. Then again, she dags her burden more and more, was shocked to see that a little way she had passed. When the shadows disappear, House and inside house and eyes inside eyes fall asleep. Maybe the rest of the earth, its light is awake inside the firefly. Sound of fountains drip from folds of leaves, from bone to inside bones, running from the breast of trees to the breast of the birds, laments of rain, annoyed songs of wind. Hands, feet, fingers of the wind sink out our, sink into our glass window in the dark evening summer. Stand for long under the fiery black sky. Me and my younger sister named Suicide has the mist cover of your mirror 
now clear. Seems the pair of eyes are melting in sleep. I row the boat through high waves. On the boat are my dead grandmother and the pinky cat of infinity. In the eyeless sleep, everywhere it is sleep. On both sides of the forehead, the pulse drips like the waves of the sea. It seems to be a sea of two pieces of thought. What happened thereafter? No, what had happened prior to this? Though there is nothing like before and after. Journey is always that of the present. Boat, dead grandmother and pinky all exist. All exist at this moment. Everything is decided, steady and running again. Everything swings in sleep's huge butter. No eyes on the face, no eyeballs in eyes. There is only all pervading sleep, cascade of sleep within two eyelids. That was Munira Chaudhary, probably the best poem she wrote in her life. 